We all know it's really fun to dunk on terrible TV shows. The Rings of Power is an absolute abomination. But I try not to be a person that hates everything, and I like to give credit where credit is due. And Apple TV is killing the game right now with a show called For All Mankind. This show is perfect for me. I am a huge sucker for space and alternate history. I love shows where they go back in history, but instead this thing happens and it twists history into this weird thing. And I love that. I'm a huge sucker for both of these things. It is the perfect storm. I am not somebody that generally sits down and watches shows. I just have a hard time sticking with them long term. But I have binge watched this. All three seasons, 30 hours of content, blew through it. So that is a huge thumbs up from me. This is going to be spoiler free, but I do want to give you some basic information. So the show starts off with the United States and the Soviet Union in the Cold War. We're in the space race. We are racing to see who can get to space first, who can get to the moon first, all that stuff. The twist happens where the Soviet Union actually wins. They get a man on the moon first, and this drives the United States crazy. And the space race never ends. It now becomes a contest of who can get a base on the moon first, who can colonize the moon first, who can grow crops on the moon first. So we are just blowing through history at our, with technology advancing rapidly, and everything is all about space and space exploration. And it's really cool how the show deals with this because you have all this consumer technology rapidly advancing. You know, people have video chat and all of that stuff in the 80s. But we still have record players and phones still have landlines and people are driving you know, the old cars back in the day. But we have nuclear fusion energy because of the space race and, and how far. It's very cool how they mesh the super advanced technology that we don't have today with the old stuff back then. NASA starts off the show being a government agency that's constantly begging for more money and ends up being an $80 billion for-profit corporation. It's pretty cool how they do it. Now let's get into the things that are awesome about this show. First up being the cool astronaut stuff. Anytime they are doing anything in space, on the moon, anything spaceship related, it's very well done. The CGI is great. The, um, the look of the show is just very well done. Anytime you see a vista or a shot of the moon, from the moon, for, of a ship, it just looks good. Apple TV Throw in big wads of cash at the CGI department on this one. If you're a fan of history, you're constantly going to be pointing at your TV like Leonardo DiCaprio because they do a great job of remixing old history and old culture into this new space race. Uh, some of the interesting like things where, like John McCain is like a liberal because of the things that take place in the show and the political events. It, it's very well done. It's very clever. Uh, they do... Uh, they move through history in a way that is just excellent. This show does a great job of exploring sensitive areas and sensitive topics and not painting anybody one particular color. There are a lot of gray area uh, characters in this show that aren't necessarily completely good or completely bad, and they're very interesting. Um, one, one particular one in season one, it's just, it's very well done. And I appreciate any show that doesn't have one dimensional characters. The pacing of the show is fantastic. By the time you get sick of the current thing they're doing, they jump ahead like five, 10 years. The show starts off in the sixties and ends up in 2004 as of the latest season. So they do not linger and wait around. The show can be intense at times, but it's not too intense. I feel like a lot of these shows nowadays just try to be so you know, shock and all crazy that they just become exhausting to watch. This show, you can kick back and watch it and not feel like you got to take a break after an episode. You can, you know, watch one episode in the next episode and th there's high points for sure. There's definitely crazy stuff that happens, but it's not so crazy all the time that you just get sick of it. The acting in the show is fantastic. No bad performances from anybody. But the only thing that takes me out of the show a little bit, and this sounds ridiculous, is that the actresses are like legitimately too hot. Like they are actually too hot to the point to where it almost takes you out of it because the show moves through time uh, and these actresses are, are getting older. And they do, the, you got to understand, Apple TV is doing everything in their power to tone these women down. They're not sexualized at all. They're dressing them up like grandmas, giving them gray hair. Doing it in pants, suits, they are doing everything they can to try and tone these women down to reality. But it just doesn't work, man. The women in this show are super fucking hot. 
So uh, I, I don't mind that, but it, it's, it's, it's almost hilarious how hard they try to tone these women back and they just can't do it. Now onto the things that aren't so great. The middle of season two gets slow. You just got to power through it. It, when you do, trust me, there's a payoff. It gets real good once you get past that bad part, but it definitely does get slow around, around the middle of season two, if my memory serves me correct. Um, the plot gets a little convenient in season three. Some people know certain people or get involved in certain things, and it's like, wow, that's awfully convenient that that happened, that you stumbled into that. Um, a lot of shows do that. It's, it, it, you know, it just kind of happens with... TV shows because you don't want to have a million different characters. I get it, but mm -mm, you know, it is a thing. And the last thing is that season three explores a couple of plot lines that are kind of meh, in my opinion. They're not the worst. They make sense in the grand, you know, scope of the show, but not the greatest, but not the worst. Overall, the show gets a big thumbs up, Zyback seal of approval. Best thing about this show, if you've never heard of it before, is you have three seasons. You have 30 hours of content to watch, and it's all pretty damn good. So I would go check it out. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and join the Discord. It's free.